All right, what we're gonna do next, now that we've uh, tuned up our edges and deburred the edges, we're gonna go ahead and strip the old wax um, off of the skis so the new wax adheres. And what I've got here is a coarse wire brush. Now, um, generally what you wanna do with this is just use this to get the excess old crap off your ski. So you wanna be firm with it because you're obviously taking wax off your skis. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff coming off. <laughs> now that we've gone ahead and stripped off the old wax, what we're going to do is work on that little uh, edge, or sorry, base problem right there. We're going to drop some P-Tex in there show you how to fix that. All right, what we got here is uh, just some P-Tex for, to fill up the base hole. Little hole here, little gouge. Um, what we gotta do is uh, get the P-Tex lit on fire and get it hot enough to where it drips. Um, this is kind of a touchy little deal because you don't wanna get too much of this P-Tex. This stuff's a lot harder than wax. It's a lot harder to get off and kind of a lot harder to work with than wax. So you just wanna be conscious of where it's dripping how much it's dripping, if it's not dripping on your hand, and that kind of stuff. So, um, obviously I'm using these because I don't want to get P-Tex on my fingers. So, now when you are P-Texing, you want to make sure that uh, you clean that out. Like after you've taken the wax off of your uh, ski and scraped it off, that old wax, you want to make sure that there's a good base for this P-Tex to lay down. Just clean it out, make sure there's not a lot of that gunk left over from scraping your skis earlier. So when you light your P-Tex, you want to go ahead and let it burn for a sec. And you want to wait for it to actually start dripping in a good, consistent drip. As you can see, it's starting to drip a little faster. We're almost there. So, don't get too anal about this. Just let it drip into the hole. And what you're doing is you're just filling up the main area, the absence of or sorry, base material, so you can wax over it. Don't touch that. Don't set it on anything important. Um, yeah, you're just prepping it for the wax to adhere on your base. So you're not, you know, making a big mound. You don't want to leave a big stump there that's always going to be there. You just want to fill it in properly. Make sure you get a good, consistent fill. We'll let that uh, harden up for a little bit. Now to um, obviously bring down this P-Tex a bit, we're going to use a file to start out with, and then we're going to get a little bit more fine-tuned with the razor. And generally the idea what you, that you're shooting for with uh, getting your P-Tex down is you want to make it flush with the rest of your base. So, spend some time on it, bring it down, get it flush with the base. Now when you're doing this, be really careful not to gouge out your, uh, your base all along here. One good thing is just to kind of uh, use your edge as a guide. Probably going to have to go back up and touch this edge back up since I'm doing this, but it's better than gouging out your base. Alright, now that I've taken most of it down with that file, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just scrape this along here, the razor blade, right? Going to hold it flush against the base, put good even pressure on it. Just try and take off as much as you can without taking out your base. As you can see, I'm trying to do my best to keep it flush. Not gouge into it, kind of made a couple of ridges right there, try and smooth that out. Right. Smooth it out till it's flush, feels good, and you're happy with it, and you're set.